Hey, yo, what's up, Ableton fam? What's crack a Yes, sir. How you feeling out there? Well, listen up. This video that I'm making right now is long overdue because in the Ableton community, there's a lot of beat making tutorials out there, but usually it's for house music or tech music. And man, everybody don't do the same genre and that's fine. But listen up, I got you. I'm about to show you how to make a hip hop beat with stock plugins in Ableton. And for those who don't know me out there, let me introduce myself, man. My name is Dan Tanner. I don't work with industry Grammy Award winning artists such as Jill Scott, Too Short, E-40. I get my first major placement with Rapper Lot's very own Do or Die for a song called Diamonds. And I'm still making noise. In 2024, man, look, I'm nominated for an Illy Award. That's an internet streaming award. Yes, indeed, for producer of the year for this song right here. Yeah. My birthday. But enough of me yapping. Let me show you how to make it happen. Let's go. So here I am right now. I got an Ableton session locked and loaded and set up and everything. I got my drum rack activated right here. And I got, as you can see down here, stock Ableton sounds. I got a kick, a snare, closed hi-hat, and a clap. You know what I mean? Then for my instrument track, I got something called the Nocturne La Priest. It's a pretty cool sound plugged in. Piano, bass, and all that. And then as far as my next track, man, look here. I got the stock 808, you know what I'm saying? The mid-tone 808. <laughs> it's slapping, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the first thing I start with on the beat is I got to get the tempo. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm at a 160, and I got to make sure that the beat clicker is enabled and all that. So... That's the tempo I'm starting with. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some hi-hats in there first. I got the hi-hats. When I click right, I set the hi-hats on one eighth. So I click B to activate the pencil. Then I start drawing. Here we go. And then, and then I wanna shorten the sound of the 808 so it won't sound so long and all that. So what I do is, I'll go to the drum rack, go down to the sound, the hi-hat sound and all that, turn off snap right here, play the sound, live, and now I got the hi-hat sounding the way I wanted the sound, it's time for the melody, so here we go. I'm gonna activate the synth track, the Nocturne La Priest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Play the hi-hats. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Start with something like that. Let's go. Shorten that up to four bars because that's what that is right there. Hit command U. Now it's Quantas. Let's listen. Turn the sound down some. And now I always go back to the drums when it comes to this point right here. So let's start with the snare, whatever. Or skip it. Let's start with the clap first. Add the snare secondly. Okay, let's draw in the claps real quick. Highlight the claps if you want them louder. Then go to the bottom where I'm going right here and go all across the claps to bring the volume up on the claps. I 
I want the claps to sound a little bit meaner. So I'll go ahead and come down on the transpose. that go to the edit highlight those tracks right there for the snare command U quantize that now I want a rolling sound and a shuffle so what I do is I right click go to 132nd and pick the point where I want to go ahead and roll so to do the same thing with the hi-hats to add some bounce to it and everything yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly draw some rolls just to start out with like on a one so then i want to make make the hi-hats trip a little bit so i right click again then as far as the grid, I go up to one eighth. But then on one eighth, I go down to triplet mode. Try that little trick in. Mm -hmm. Bring the volume of the hi hats up a little bit. Now, time for the fun part. We're going to get to the 808s. So, got the stock 808 track enabled and everything. So, so let's get to it, man. Let's make this bitch bang. Let's go. gonna put those 808s in right now let's go Just like on a hi-hat and a snare, I want to roll in this 808 some damn well. So here we go. I got the 808s, the melody going, the hi-hats and everything swinging. Man, I want to put a kick up under the 808 to make it punch a little bit harder on certain parts of the pattern. So I go back to my drum rack. Enable that. Mess with the kick a little bit. That I got uploaded. Now 
Now with that kick, it has too much high end for me. So what I do is, I click right here to the bottom right, so I can select the kick dud, enable the filter, and as you can see, there's a low pass filter right here. Cut some of the high end out of there, and then also trim it down to it. To where it don't clip at the end. So but let me turn these instruments down real quick because as you can see I'm in the red on my master fader. So let me pull this on down. Simple, you know what I mean? Yep. Sometimes simple is better, so let's go with it for this right here. Let's go. And now you got your beat rocking in there thing, man. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to sequence or arrange the beat. You know what I'm saying? This is like critical to people buying your beats because if the, when the beat change up and all that, it adds some kind of epicness to it, man. It just does something for the soul. So the first thing that I want to do is, is I want to take this Nocturne track right here, hit Command D, duplicate that. So it'll start out like this. But then I said, you know what, it'd be cool if I had the snare in there. So what I do is, I go ahead and copy the drum rack. Command D, duplicate that. Click on that, double click. Delete the kicks. And the clap. Now let's, let's do this part of the beat with the hi-hats, the snare, and the melody. Let's go. Let's see how I come with the bass. See what I mean? The build up and everything. But another cool trick that you can do is you can even take out the hi-hats. Let me show you. Go back to this track right here or this part of the scene right here. Delete the hi-hats. And then to make it really build up, duplicate your main scene highlight it up under the master right here your scene command d same thing and then go back into your drum rack right click right here in the edit part of the drum rack and go to one fourth click on that draw those notes in because then it'll sound like this you know what i'm saying a little smooth pattern then when you change scenes, check this out. You feel me? This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. It's just that easy. Man, y'all could drop that heat with no problem. You got this. Okay, now we got the beat sounding decent and all that. We got the patterns and everything down. Man, you can go ahead and level the beat off how you want to. But man, here's a gem right here. Man, I always have the 808 bumping. Right now, it's in there, but we needed to bump a little harder. He ain't lying. So I'm about to play the beat again and let me edit it a little bit so I can hit a little bit harder. Go to the bottom right. Click on the instrument, which says volume right here. Yes, sir. No, he's fucking good. Hey, yo, pretty simple, right? Yeah. You feel me? Man, go ahead and get your Ableton cracking. And as you saw, I did it with nothing but stock plugins that came with Ableton Live, man. I did not use my Omnisphere. Didn't use my Nexus. <laughs> I didn't even use my Splice account. You know what I'm saying? All those sounds are baked in and stock. 
Salute to Ableton for that one. And man, if you want to check out more lit Ableton Live videos, then check these out. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. All right, everybody. <laughs> be legendary and never secondary. Be easy.